You can call me stupid yes, You can call me lazy You can say I Welcome to WNBA Swish. I'm Sean Schultz. I'm Asia. I'm Blake. Sir. Sir. I'm KBJ here. The first thing we should go, any of the games particularly stick out to you in the last week? Anybody? I kind of like the Wings beating the Aces. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I mean, I love the Aces, don't get me wrong, but sometimes, you know, you just, you know. Well, they need to take a loss every once there. in a while, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not going to change their position in the power. Right, range. exactly. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> no, but it was, you know. Well, I think Dallas is a lot more talented than folks give them credit for. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Shout out to Dallas, but also shout out to Atlanta. They've been playing some really good ball lately. Sa- Sabali. Satu's been doing really Sa- good. Yes. Yeah. Satu's been struggling, though. I mean, lately, yeah. lately she has. I've been playing pretty well, actually. She's playing she, good, yeah. She, she I mean, she's playing well, but she didn't get no foul calls for her last game. They played. Hell yeah, Kelly. I don't think anything's changed for me perspective-wise in the last week. I think Vegas was off for a few quarters. They may have been distracted for that Dallas game, so it happens. Um, Courtney Vandersloot's public comments about the Liberty having bad team chemistry were interesting. I didn't see that. Where was it? Yeah, to say the least, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe four or five days ago ish. Like said the team didn't have chemistry and it needed to develop. James Wade. Oh. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> totally agree. Totally yeah, agree. I, I, I hope we keep that. I think Becky Hammond set the best example that when you leave the WNBA for the NBA, it is not a promotion. It is a demotion. They try to make, they try to cover it up by saying like, oh, look, let's celebrate this. This is a good thing. Look. Woo-hoo. Yeah, bullshit. You know who what? I felt bad for? And I, I'll let you go in a sec, Kelly. Oh. Um, Annie Costabile had a really good article out. Oh. Sometimes. And she talked about how, Kalia Copper was feeling and how like she was upset and you know she asked her like how are your feelings and Copper's like what feelings just imagine like the only player left on that team and in the span of six months your entire team plus the coach is gone just yeah, yeah so everything just team. fell apart I don't look for her to be there next year nah. no no she she'd enjoy Las Vegas I hey, gonna be honest <laughs> so Chicago basically got rid of him after a win Wow, that's even worse. <laughs> they got rid of him because he made a series of mistakes. Yeah. He, you know, well, we won't go back years, but with the Mabry thing, I'm sorry, great player. Got to love him. Well, How and the, he what, doesn't three? know how to do his rotations right either. Uh, to be fair, no. there's not, there's no, there, I don't, there's not, there's not, there's like five players that are worth three first round picks, and Mabry's not one of them. Oh, no. That was, that was done by Chicago. With the depth of the next couple drafts, giving up two first-round picks, three first-round picks, but two in those drafts, it, it is inexcusable. If it would have been for Brianna Stewart, it wouldn't have been excusable. The sky, the sky would be in a perfect position at this juncture to uh, land the Caitlin Clark lottery in two years. But they're not, no. Something that uh, Sky is one of the last teams that have both the GM and – Coach in the same position. Is that true? Yep. Oh. Cheryl Reed. What's wrong with us? <laughs> Damn. Um, I don't know. I mean, you've been around this guy a long time. I have. It's a horribly run organization, to say the least. Uh, two brothers, the Alter brothers, run it. We're still not sure what Harvey Alter does. Um, Dar can vouch for this. Harvey. He, like, <laughs> yeah. he walks around in the arena with a headset on, like talking into it, and it's not even on. 
Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. We have no idea why he does what he's, he does. He's he's, just, uh, he's 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 different. He's, he's married with kids. He's extra special. Yes. He's special. Wow. Um, and the sky sound. You know, signed a bunch of scrap players that if they stayed healthy on paper may have been exciting, but nobody took leadership. The one that mattered the most, I think, is injured. Damn. Yeah. They're right, we where they are. We talk, we're talking about Isabel. Oh, oh Harrison. Yeah. Harrison. Isabel Harrison. Harrison. Was she in that trade too or she was a free? Free agent, I think. No, wait. Free agent, yeah. The only one that's really working out is uh, Courtney Williams. They're working out individually. Yes. And that's but, that's very evident whenever they play. It's like total chaos. Oh, Somebody yeah. gets the ball. Point guard gets the ball. It's not like Sloot running down. You go here. You go there. She said, you know, yeah. nobody sets it up. No, no. They just Sloot. All because they're down. lost. They get the ball and they run down. Because Wade doesn't court. know what he's doing. No. Right. Copper's yeah. miserable. Mabry's miserable. And there you go. And it shows. It it's shows. On, it's on self-destruct, though. It's on self-destruct. They're not putting in as much effort as they did when they had everybody there. That's something I, uh, that I've noticed too. They're well, also, we should mention awesome. something about, about Wade's roster thing. Um, typical, if a player leaves an organization they're thankful to, and there's a mutual respect, they may ask for a sign and trade. So the group at least gets something in return. Mm -hmm. And none of the sky none players did that here. Yeah, none of them. So what does that say? What does they, that tell you? It validates WNBA Swish's reporting for the last year about the turmoil in the Sky organization with the players and staff. Yeah, yeah. but people don't want to hear the truth, so they slam us. That's your heart, though. Because they can't handle the truth. You can't <laughs> handle, handle the, the truth. truth. <laughs> hey, the truth hurts, though. I mean, they can't handle the truth, so it hurts. I mean, not yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The truth does. Or hurt. they go into denial and don't want to believe it, so right. they throw a tantrum. Yeah. That's yeah. what you know. It irritates me. You know, I spend money on the sky like everybody, and to be let down like that, and for what? An amateur? Yeah. Well, it was kind of like that too when when we had the stars. And, you know, Vicki Johnson became coach after Dan Hughes had left. And then everybody was hyping up like, yeah, Vicki Johnson. Woo. And then what did she do? She caused the stars to be last oh. two years in a row. She didn't do jack shit for the team, but yet they still hyped her up like she was this great coach goddess for the stars. And that's probably why they got bought out by Vegas. Just saying. Uh -huh. Well, I think this guy need to turn to find a high level coach and they need to blow up their roster and start this all over again. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's all it's all they need they time. need a clean slate. Yeah. But with this kind of an organization though, what high level coach is ever going to come here? Me. It depends how you convince them. And it depends if you can match make with players. You know it, it just depends how you can do it. You can pitch it as a major market team, a relatively new arena. Um Hey, we may have made mistakes before, but we're willing to do ABC now. There's a lot of ways you could, you could spin it. Kurt Miller. True. <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, he's not doing well right now, Kurt Miller. He's not doing well. Oh, fucking Kurt. Yeah. Someone told me as a straight man, if I criticize Kurt Miller, it's a hate crime. To be, really fair, to be fair, I mean... It, I don't know who's healthy for L.A., though. He's doing a terrible yeah. job. He said terrible. healthy in L.A. Asia, did you hear him? I heard that loud and clear. <laughs> healthy for L.A. What Sar the Sar Sarvis, Sarvis so miserable right now. Damn. Is it like five or six injuries now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The Erica yeah. Hamby, the, Samuel tw the Samuelson twins, uh, somebody help, Shanae, somebody help me out. Um, That's cool. Shanae, I mean, Lefty Brown's still out. Lexi. Yeah. So who they got left? Damn. <laughs> I think it's Neca. Neca in the cold case, I think. And Jordan Cannon. Uh, Aneka, Zaya Cook, and I mean, you know, scrap, I, I, and scraps. Might as well put Tarb out there. 
Shit. I used to go to a neighborhood bank and it would really irritate me when they would run out of withdrawal slips at the desk. I kind of feel like that's the commissioner's office with hardship exemptions now after LA. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So much. I don't know where LA is going to go. Let's see what they do. Maybe they can convince Tina Charles. I'm sorry. I tried to keep it straight. F Maybe Tina they... Charles. Yeah. Edit. Um, so I don't see them going anywhere. Seattle. Apparently, they're going to be the new WNBA champions because Gabby Williams is going to save them. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that yeah, happening anytime soon. I mean, if they, if, they, no. <laughs> if they get the France version of Gabby Williams, she can save them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Damn. Kelly, Damn. the reason these players do great at international balls is because 95% of the international players are crap. Yes. So that is true. I mean, translation, Seattle, yeah, you're still going to be dark. And that's why they pay them more to come over to play to help them out so that way they can win these championships. <laughs> Damn. Breaking news, Jewel Wood has 36 points. Good for, good for her. Does her team have wins? I mean, no. what's the point? <laughs> no. <laughs> 36 I said points that will hook sarcastically. About 36 me. points leading to what? To a loss? Yes. To a freaking Washington Mystics team with nobody, and we're gonna Washington get on. Mystics. We're gonna get on that too. Washington yeah. Mystics. Um, um, can I? Can I? Can I start? Go ahead. <laughs> Elena Deladon. Ugh. Great, great start. <laughs> wow. Great start. I mean, like, ugh. I, all yeah. I can say is, why the hell would she freaking play? knowing that she would probably re-injure it like she already did. This has been Elena's MO since her rookie year. She is a selfish person and a selfish player. Her teammates don't even stick up for her. They don't vouch for her. I mean, she just I wants could... attention. She just I'm wants... sure yeah. she doesn't care. Oh, wait, and wait, and then, and then the best of it. She po When they were doing the All-Star draft, she was picked last, everybody knows. Yeah, yeah, there a prize for last. Yeah, yeah, and she's an attention whore, and she knows she needs to get some attention. Yeah, I um, want attention, attention. Yep. <laughs> she should retire. She should have retired for the sake of the, you know, the team, but that's what happens when you got a nepotism run team that is well, enough. And her body's breaking down every other game anyway, yeah. so you might as it well broke just down when she was five. Damn, five, yeah. Yeah, she got to hang myself. Right? I mean, they they need to get – I mean, they they got to somehow get 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 off, get off her contract because she's not this – she's not the two-time MVP of the league anymore. This is, nope. this is different. They can I negotiate mean, a contract divorce, but that's about it. Yeah, thing she's not the phenomena she used to be. Uh, what, Kelly? There's, a, there's another thing I'm not looking at. Shakira Austin out, too. Yep, Shakira Austin's out. Uh, Ariel Atkins, Natasha Cloud, I think. How bad? Nata you Nata 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 Natasha's in. Oh, she's I a thought somebody just suffered an injury. So uh, Nata Natasha Cloud's in. So let me get this straight. How bad do you have to be to lose to this Washington team? <laughs> Damn. Bad. Pretty fucking bad. Yeah, and Joel got thirty six too. Damn. Yeah, and I have her Wait. on my fantasy team, and I didn't start. What what the? On the positive side, Ryan Howard gets to be in the All Star game. Good for her. Okay, yes. crickets. <laughs> Good for her. Well, she deserves it. Yeah, she does. Well, I think I think so. She got. I just feel a... like she's been very quiet this season, though. I, she I got her to a rocky start, but she's I getting. Feel like... She's got the groove going now. Five, yeah. minutes at, five minutes after the lineups were uh, selected, we all got it either in the chat or on a call, all of us, and we all said Ryan Howard was going to yeah. replace Elena before they even ruled Elena out. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I knew it was marketing. marketing. Like everybody Speaking said it at the same time. Speaking of Atlanta, they're playing some really good ball lately. They are. They won like what, three in a row? Yeah. Well, let's do real quick before we go to Atlanta and do power rankings. 
Mm. How did y'all enjoy the Vegas New York game? Hmm. Just Russian. I don't remember. No. <laughs> one one team is broken and one team is a machine. That's all it was. I wouldn't say broken. They're they're breaking. You have to be together to be broke first. I mean, they're they're not together. I'm better put it that way. I think it's sad because it's uh, an incredible organization with an incredible uh, you know roster of players mm-hmm. yeah and I think we, as fans we can only hope that uh, whatever occurs that will bring that team speedily together I mean the talent's there it, 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 I mean they're yeah. extremely calm. yeah for they, sure. just don't, they just they just don't fit together they just don't right they, they're not meshing the way they should be no I mean, I've already said it. They already they should have kept Natasha Howard and not traded for John Paul Jones. But, mm-hmm. but, but yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. What I what I've noticed about it. that game is New York New York couldn't guard Vegas one on one. They couldn't guard them. It's not so many. To... Not many. Not many teams can deal with Vegas's perimeter players at all. Because well, that well. Is... Cut, Kelsey's the quickest player in the league. Yeah. Gray's a freaking bulldog. Yeah. And and uh Jackie's just, I mean, she's stronger than people fucking think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, they let's they underestimate that, her all the time. Let's put that and start the power ranking since we're talking about the aces. They're obviously one. Mm-hmm. And I think the warning for the rest of the league with the aces is the more they allow the aces to get these 20 point blowouts the more practice vegas's bench kirsten bell kayla george you know people like that get and the more solidified it is and harder to beat hmm. that's, oh, that's, yeah. that's over the rest of the league what about number two who we got for two new york i'll new york yep they're coming up right behind they're different so they're different so there's difference Who's doing what from behind? There's, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, Vegas is one, they're, they're, they're clear one. New York, the distance is not a close to. Okay. Who's number three? Connecticut. Connecticut's number three. Yeah. Anybody okay. want to jump in with why? I mean, uh, yeah. Lisa I mean, Thomas. Alyssa Thomas is Kenton. Alyssa, well, you said you want a reason. Alyssa Thomas is the is the reason. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Dewana Bonner also. Let's not forget about well, her. Well, bon, Dewana Bonner and uh, who else? I mean, Hydem is isn't really doing much right now. Yeah. yeah. Usually, Harrington has these. Har- right. Harrington off the bench. Well, I think that Alyssa Thomas can be in a MVP conversation. I don't. I'm not saying she'll win, but she at least deserves to be you know, there. She's in a conversation. She's in a conversation for MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't say she's a leader, Defensive Player of the Year right now. She's a leader. Probably. And, Number, yeah, two, and with two torn labrums. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But then there's Elena. It hurt my toe. Let me sit out. Um, Daddy. 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 Mm-hmm. Daddy, can you take, me to, Daddy, can you take uh, me to the doctor? Like that both disturbed me and turned me on. So, Daddy. Uh-huh. all right, who's number four? Dallas. Dallas. Dallas is number four. I like Dallas. Which I'm proud four. of them. Dallas for sure. Yeah, they're playing real good ball. Of Dallas this season. Okay. I think that Dallas has done amazing. They're young. Latrice Trammell's coming in, and she's really changing pounding. things around. All, all right. Right. chemistry, oh, yeah. all of it. So uh, we yeah. agree on the top four. Here comes yeah. the shakeup. Who's number five? Atlanta. 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 Yeah, I'd go Atlanta. Yeah, because beyond that, you ain't you don't have a hell of a lot. <laughs> okay, here, here, here comes the clusterfuck. Who's six through eight? Okay, so oh. I want to uh, answer go me ahead. this: How is Minnesota number six? Oh. Minnesota's a joke. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Riddle me this. Yeah. How is they in number six? 
Nafisa Collier. Collier, Collier. Yeah, but they're no, what nine and ten. <laughs> That's I'm cool. Oh, I got. I mean, uh, shit. I just posted their fucking records. I mean, they're nine well, and they're one game on the five hundred. So at yeah. six, at six, I would put. Okay, I got the I got the records. At six, I would put. This is power rankings, though, not standing. Power rankings, power rankings. I mean, I, I mean, you got to say, you got, you got to say, like Washington. Indiana. You got, you, like you got to, Washington, 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 Washington. You got to say, what? You got to say, Washington. Why? Uh, Indiana's five and fourteen, and um, okay, to, but they're and they've and they've and they've lost seven in a row. They should be. They should be at the uh, bottom. Yeah. At the bottom, the boss, so yes. Indiana, Indiana got Indiana's got to be in the eight to ten, and in the eight to ten well, range. We're not there yet. We're at six. All right, six. Watch. All right, I go. I go. I go. Washington, just based off the record, and uh, and we all good that, with that. We all good with Washington. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they just won. I mean, I guess you could say Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah. I think Minnesota is a letdown team for me. They are a letdown team, but yeah. Shout out to uh, Megan Longo. Or... Who, el- who else is any good? Dang. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nobody. Okay, so for, okay, so we have Aces 1, Liberty 2, Connecticut 3, Dallas, Dallas, four. Dallas 4, Atlanta 5, Atlanta five, Atlanta five Washington, Washington 6, six, Washington six, six seven, Minnesota, Minnesota seven. 7. Um. Okay. Eight, Chicago, I guess Chicago. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Just because you have to. Yeah. Okay. Nine takes through a, nine takes through a real twelve. Shitty, takes a real shitty person, by the way, to leave their team in the middle of the season. Yeah, yeah very shitty. Nine. Ask Tina Charles. I'm just kidding. Shit. <laughs> um, Los Angeles, maybe. I'll probably put Los there. Angeles at nine. No, it's not offended. I mean, Los Angeles has lost five straight. So Indiana, I, Indiana at ten. Seattle wait, at eleven. Wait, stop. We didn't agree on nine yet. What, um, Kelly? I'll probably say Phoenix nine though, because LA struggling. Who? Yeah, that's true. Who's well, that? Nine? Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix at fourteen. At, the, I can't put Phoenix at nine. No, sorry. What's the end of the Phoenix is last in every no, no. thing. Seattle. What's yeah. Seattle the last week? Uh, Their record. Uh, I don't think they won. Seattle. No. Seattle just lost again. And Jewel just dropped 39 points. So, I mean, yeah. So, Los Angeles or Indiana? Um, Indiana, I'll put LA at nine. LA at nine. Yeah, I'd go there. Uh, yeah. LA, I go Los Angeles, and then Indiana. Yeah, and Indiana, and then. I okay. could, I could get with that. I can get with that. Okay, then what are we doing at eleven and twelve? The toss up between Seattle and Phoenix. I'll probably put Seattle last and Phoenix eleven. It doesn't matter. Well, Phoenix has a better chance of getting into the top. Eight than Seattle does. Than Seattle does, right? Yeah. 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 For yeah. the sake of, for the sake of my personal life, I'm always going to put Phoenix at number one. Edit. Um. Let's see. Good. We got good power rankings. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. I mean, this is a. I mean, this is a bad power ranking being nine through twelve. The the number nine came off spot of twelve. Number ten came off how many world? Yeah. Well, I think okay. we're seeing the early formations of what we see every year in the W, which is a big cluster. With the last eight teams, I'll say the top five are legit. Though the top five are legit. Yeah, but that's how it always is every year. And yeah, then yeah. it comes down to the last game and weird fucking mathematical algorithms to where I have to call Dar and ask for what this means. <laughs> okay, so through twenty games, who's the who? Who would y'all think is the MVP? Or Asia. Even though Asia's on a team with the best record 
and the most stacked team in probably history of the game. So? Man, she's in the conversation. I mean, I'll say I mean, she's. I don't. She's. She's leading her. Lead, she's leading her team in scoring and rebounding by like point one. I think. I nice. Know. Plus, she's on the ruffle. Nice, game. nice. I mean, isn't she leading the league in blocks too? I was like, y'all haven't she seen is. this. She is. Oh, yeah. Stewart's also leading the league in. No, she's second in the league in scoring. Yeah. Man, Good for you. It's all continue after tonight. She's top five in steals. If you're gonna use Brianna, Brianna Stewart's scoring as justification within itself, then you have to include Joel Lloyd in the argument. So uh, hold on, I mean, Brianna Stewart. They're winning games with Stewart basically taking the game over single handedly. Some they, most they games. win games when Stewart scores under thirty, and when other players score above ten. Sure. Otherwise, if Sabrina, if Sabrina, if Sabrina scores 20, New York's not losing. Right. Mm-hmm. Unless it's the Vegas. <laughs> which, I mean, which Stewie got to get 40 and Sabrina got to get 30. So, should we agree on the top three MVP candidates are Stewart, Wilson, and uh, Thomas? First yes. of all, those aren't just the three MVP candidates. Those are the three best players in the freaking league. Absolutely. That's the yeah. point. I mean, it's not always the freaking point, though, because John Quill Jones was an MVP, and I don't think she was a top three player in the league. I mean, she, well, wasn't, she wasn't over Griner. She was not. Other I people. Take, I would take Brittany Griner. I would take Brittany Griner as a top five player in the league, but she, she was I – doing mean, John Quill Jones was never better than Brittany Griner. Well, Brittany Griner should take a little bit of a, a, a break for a minute and uh, sort herself out a little for a you know, couple of weeks at least. I mean, she's, uh, start, so. she's starting to show signs of progressive fatigue and breakdown. Yeah. That's not a secret. You all see it when yeah. you watch the news. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't say I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. That's in the Fisa Collier, though. She's, she's, so she's hoping she's, she's, she's leading in the wind. And also, shout out to Donna Miller as well. Donna yeah. Miller is great. Yeah. She's I, mean, good. I said that way in the beginning of the year. I told you that before the year when I told you to come to the Northwestern game. You told me you wouldn't come to the Northwestern game. There was too much hazing. I don't know. I mean, I, I read that PG needs to read that for like two weeks. Fans, yeah. the fans is hot garbage. They okay, so it. let's say Boston, I mean, knock on wood, let's say rookie of the year, Boston. Boston. Boston's running yeah, away Boston. with it. But let's say, but let's say Boston – Hurt yourself and doesn't play again the rest of the year. Knock on wood. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. Knock on wood. No knock on wood. No knock on woods with that. We don't do that before an injury. There you go. Knock on wood. It's it's just bad karma. Like it's not a bad yeah. question in itself. I'm just saying we don't. Okay, fine. Don't just don't talk about it. Okay, yeah. fine. I Let's think see. that the obvious two rookies though are her and Diamond. Diamond. Yeah, those are the top Diamond two. Diamond Miller. Yeah. Okay, who would be the defensive player of the year? I'll say Thomas. 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 Yeah. Do we want to take a real quick stab at six woman of the year? No. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got Wait. Hold on. I'm trying to think. No, you're not. That's just your c- called confusion. There, was right? it was it was it be Alicia Clark by default? Well, man, Clark or Karen. By default. One, oh, One, oh. By default. What is that? Carrington <laughs> or Clark? One or two. Probably Carrington, maybe. What? You know, here, this is what drives me up a wall. For like up till like a week ago, everybody, fan, analyst, reporter, everybody was bitching about Carrington sucking, not getting minutes, being disconnected. And then she has like two good games, and everyone's like, oh. Yeah, and by that logic, it's Clark is a front runner. She's a front runner. Well, Let's see. well, I mean, Johannes hasn't had a horrible year. You can put Johannes in. You can. I like uh, Johannes. Yeah. Johannes, yeah. Well, let's just hope that everybody uh, gets Turns healthy. And, yeah. Yeah, we can see a good competitive year. Yeah. I, I mean, also like what Indiana's doing. You know, just a shout out to Brad. They're yeah, just awesome. very. They're just very young. Yeah, they can't finish games though. Like that will come up with experience. 
It's not, well, it's not, it's not, it's not coaching. It's just, no, they, it's just they're the young. Players. They're, they're young. young. They, they need a minute. Yeah. They lack a fan. They got to close the game. They got the right coach. To be fair, to be fair, once upon a time, the Aces sucked a lot. Yeah. And then we got a juice bar. Oh, mm-hmm. I walked right into that one. Once upon a time, delivery sucked too, though, but well, we all know how that turned out. Yeah, it was Once upon a time, this guy had a championship too, but that didn't go too well. <laughs> sure. I mean, things can change. Things can change on the end of your face. I feel like Phoenix at some point in the next three weeks or so is going to pop and in a good way and break out of whatever shell they're in. What's Diana at 97 or something from the 10,000 mark? Something like that. Dude, I need I don't think she's going to make it. I think she's going to break that 10,000 this year. Uh, She stays healthy. She she can. Yeah. Yeah. You're so about what 20, uh, 20 games left? Yeah, I think she got she got in that state. How many Courtney points? Van, Court, how see. many points she got so far? On the total? All time. No, no, this year. Total points this year. Tarasi, Blake, you can look that up quick. This is why um, we edit. Do you want the average or you want the actual? No, no. Points? I want total points this year. Just this year. Total points. You're fired. Let me look. You're fired. I'll check. I'll check. Oh, well, uh, she, she scored. She scored 210 points this year. Mm, 210. She's 97 away. So yeah, she can more than. Oh, do it. Okay, she's at, ni- then, she's yeah. at 90. Right. She's at yeah. She's at 99,003. She's going to She's going to do it. Yeah. Uh, another uh, milestone you got to be on watch for. Courtney Vandersloot. Tisha Pennant share right. assist record. How far? What's she away from it? Yeah, what Kelly said. Like less than, like less than a hundred. How many she got on the season? I, I think she's less than eighty. Is she? I think she'll she'll do it though. She'll do it. She'll pass Peter. Good for her. She deserves it. Oh hell yeah! Oh. She's much. He's the most underrated point guard that's ever – well, the most underrated yeah. player that's ever played that. Yep. Yeah. Anybody that disagrees knows nothing. There is there's very, there's a lot of people that don't know nothing about him. Not well, let's, let's um, see. I'm trying to see. Does anybody I'm else trying. have a topic they want a topic they want to bring up? Um, who, who stocked up and who stocked down? Stocked up, stocked down. Mm-hmm. She's I seventy just, assists away, guys. Seventy. Okay. She's gonna do it. She got it. Stock up and stop down. Same stock up. Same stock I'm just up. on the aces. I don't go down. So. Oh, they they stock they stock is the same. <laughs> they can't go. They can't go up or down. Oh, they can go down. Don't don't jinx us like a billy oh. goat. I'm just saying. Oh, they they can't go up. Right? Okay, so okay, what team would give the aces the biggest uh, matchup in the first round? Dallas. Dallas, yeah, because Dallas. Dallas was pretty close the last time. I... You said you they said could, they could, they could, they could, they they had a, they had a big, they had a lead in well both games wow. because Dallas well, yeah. has, has speed. Well, Dallas, Dallas also, also Dallas also has money. Dallas also has the size and physicality. Yeah, they have size, physicality, and speed. Oh, yeah. So yep. would that be a first round match? But I mean, aren't they a top? Four or five no, we'll get a we'll get a buy in Dallas. Will, well, Dell, no, Dallas isn't going to make the top two, but I mean, yeah, Austin, New York, will get a buy. So then Dallas wouldn't. Dallas would have to fight it out. Depends what they do in the first round. Yeah. Dallas and Washington in the first round, maybe. Dallas won in that series. It would be what that would be. What a four or five. Yeah. Four or five. So the three six would be Connecticut and. Atlanta, possibly, or whatever. Connecticut's not going to survive that. I mean, yeah, they need. I mean, Connecticut I say, get beat. Yeah, I was going to say this. I, I, I was feeling like Connecticut got to make a move before size. There is no. There is no move. There's none. The only point. The only. The only player that they could possibly get is not happening. So they just going to lose in the first round, then if they. 
don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do anything. Well, there's no move to make. You got to understand. See, the thing that gets misconstrued is, oh, this team needs this, so they need to make a move. It's not that you're wrong. It's you got to remember another team has to want to lose a player as much as you want to get one. Or if you go the free agency route, we saw we saw Phoenix have a problem when they were trying to you know get hardship contracts. Yeah. Players can turn you down. You got to convince a player to come yeah. on your roster, even if they don't have a team. I mean, I know everyone went after me when I said on like one of our cup, first couple of podcasts that we had that I said Tina Charles is not going to be on a dub, she's not going to be on the roster, and no, people were won't. just coming. People were coming at me left and right. Yeah, where, where is she now? She's, she's dealing with personal issues, put it that way. Um, yeah, but I mean, the only reason I came up to that conclusion is because she's burned like five different bridges. Well, I think that teams have would be willing to Seattle talk, would be willing to talk to her, but it's just nobody has because they were made aware that she is not going to be playing this year. But um, nobody says that out loud, and unless my. my Mike Vopel reports it, then I guess it's not true. Oh, by the way, just real quick, uh, shout out to uh, Adrian Wojanowski, a.k.a. The Woj, mm -hmm. the, known as the best mind in the, the basketball reporting business. In that case, you should know that it is Nikki, Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, blue, not Vicky. In case you didn't hear that again. How, what was it again, Sean? Nikki? He called her Vicky like five times. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki. Blows. Seriously? Yeah. yeah he oh did. My oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Who does that? Adrian Wojnarowski. Yeah. Show some damn respect. At least check up a name. But he'll freaking type up a freaking name a name on of uh, in the W in, in the NBA, and you don't even know who the hell he is. It's just some pointless name. He yeah. can spell his own name. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> I mean, he bought the name like that. Like, definitely. Right, do you got anything you want to bring up? I just would like you. Uh, I would like to know if you think it's possible that the going to separate the GM from the coaching in the Sky organization. For God's sakes, I mean, something's got to change in that off season. Um, I mean, you want to make the interim guy the head guy. Good. They're not going to do that. That not, that almost never happens in any sport. They're just not going to fire the interim, even though he's terrible, because it would be a bad look. Yeah. But yeah, they're, 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 they're going to hire. They're going to hire another coach in the off season, and who the and who the hell knows? He still will be a hot commodity for whoever's looking for it. And then who would they put in the GM role? I mean, they've got to they've got to separate those two roles. I'm sorry. You would find somebody that would take the job. Like Phoenix just took one of the Golden State Warriors people. You know, I mean, we're seeing some shuffles. Right. I'm Mike's, on, Mike, Mike's on leave? Yeah. No, wait, he's in, Go no, he's in Golden State. He's in Golden State. No, Golden State. Somebody from Golden State went to Phoenix in the last, like, I don't know, four days, three days. I know Golden State's GM, like, left. Right. Bob Myers left. He stepped down, yeah. Well, Phoenix's GM retired too, but... Phoenix's GM is James Jones. Oh, uh, okay. I was thinking the Suns. I don't no. even know who the Mercury old GM will be. Look behind Asia's head, please. Do you see a W? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice if they did that and made that mandatory. I, I don't believe you should be able hmm. to... Hey Asia, awesome. who, hey, hey, Asia, who do you think that WNBA logo is? You, Blake. Okay. Yes. I, not, I always thought that it was um, probably Tarasi. <laughs> she says that with so much hate in her heart. You notice how I did like a dead silence? <laughs> Well, I could have guessed the Rossi or I could have I could have guessed Bird. Well, Bird would have the ponytail, so I didn't think it was her. No, this logo it's, has it's, a bump. It's it's, it, it's Tarazi. Yeah, it has film. Yeah. Yeah, that bitch. Oh, I love Tarazi. No edit. Um, anybody else? Any, what, Blake, Asia. Yet. 
<laughs> to wrap it up, then. <laughs> um, just a real quick housekeeping for the fans out there. Make sure to download the new Las Vegas Aces app, brand new. Uh, Aces are a great organization owned by a very, very great owner. And uh, they're nice to us, so. Mm -hmm. They gave them a juice bar. A juice bar, I was just going to say. <laughs> Unlike the Los Angeles Spark, they at least send us consistent emails. Tom Brady? Tom Brady's part of the, Spark of the Aces? Yes. Maybe, yes. possibly. No, he is, yes. Yeah, he is sure. the great, the great Tom Brady. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why Kelsey's so happy every game. The goat, yes. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to Kelsey. She's Farmville. got it. She's got a sign. She's got a signed autographed jersey from Tom shout Brady. Out, shout out to Kelsey for her forty point game the other day. Yeah, she's a beast. Yeah, yeah she Hope. dog. Hope no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Oh man! You should change your name to Waller. Oh, Kelsey Waller. Waller. <laughs> oh. Damn. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> That's Asia's face when she's trying to tell us she's done with us. <laughs> with the first pick in the 2017. WMBA draft. Uh, the Chicago <laughs> Sky. The Chicago Sky select Elena Quotes. Oh man. Oh that my gosh. Yeah. That was the second pick. That was second. Okay. I'm just saying it was the first one. Just, just because throwing the, that just, out there. Just, yeah, just, to, anno a just to annoy crap somebody. Ass pick. <laughs> <laughs> just to annoy somebody. <laughs> I mean, they followed it up two years later with Elena Deladon. So, I mean, so just saying. What do you mean? Uh, Lena Deladon was before that. Um, before that. She was in 13, I think. And 08. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. yeah, 08, they got Sylvia. 13, they got Deladon. And then they got freaking, and then they got freaking Coast. So they destroyed that. They destroyed that. Reminder to everybody to um, go on our social media pages. All social media platforms were there. WNBA Swish. And we can wrap it up there. And until next time.